Hey everybody, Sam here from Greenacre Homestead. I am not on the homestead today. I'm actually out in Pikeville, Tennessee at Burns Farms at a giant bull and cattle sale. No, I'm not a cattleman by trade, but I still love to have fun with animals. I'm out here with my brother. He also has a YouTube channel, small. He's getting started. Check him out, link below. He's hoping to get himself a registered pulled Hereford bull. Let's see if we can't help him out. So what we're doing, well really, it's my brother's doing this. He's looking through, he's got his list and everything of cattle. He wants to look at and check temperament, get up close personal looks at before we go in and start bidding. He's in the zone right now. He's in the cattle zone. When he gets a moment, I'm gonna pull him aside and see if he can help me and you learn more about buying cattle at an auction. All right, guys, I'm joined here by my brother, the Southern Cowman on YouTube. Go check him out. Links are all below, like you know how we go. This is my first time here at a cattle auction. Probably your first time, too, if you're watching our channel, because we are sheep people. He's cattlemen. Give us, a, give us a brief run through what's going on, what you do out here in the fields, and stuff like that. Right now, guys, I'm just looking at these bulls. They've got a lot of bulls for sale. They're going to run these bulls through fast. I think they're selling 80 bulls today. They're gonna sell like 170 commercial cows and bred heifers. So there's gonna be a lot going on. You know, we're just gonna be here on scene, uh, just kind of take you with it. But but what I'm doing right now is I'm evaluating the bulls that I've got on my list from doing my homework. And I'm looking at them, see how they move, which I've already, you know, pretty much done that because they had some good videos posted on these bulls that were real recent videos. Um, you can check a lot of uh, how they move and stuff on the videos because uh, Burns Farms, they do a good job about getting some good videos. But right now, I'm just putting my eyes on the bulls that we've got picked out. And uh, after you do your homework, you want to do that. So, you know, we've got pretty weather for the sale. A lot of people here, a lot of people pouring in. They've got the barbecue fired up. They like to feed you before they get your money. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a real good day. It's a good, it's, a good, it's a good thing to bring your family to if you've never been to an auction, a purebred auction. This is... This is a good way to, to spend your afternoon, and it's a gorgeous day. But right now, I'm just evaluating the bulls that I've got on my list, because you've really got to be prepared, because it's going to go fast. I mean, it's hopping in, in the cell ring, and they don't go in order. So you've got to have your ducks in a row, know which bulls you've got picked out, and uh, hopefully you can buy one. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. Hey, buddy. I want to check the temperament on this boy. I locked him in the video but he seemed like he was moving awful fast. He kept his head real high. That usually means he might not be very very calm, laid back. And that's his 36 bull. He's got a gash on the side of him and he's breathing a little bit faster than some of the other bulls. That's just a couple of little signs you might look for that that bull might be a little bit more worked up. He's got that little gash on his side. He might've been a little bit harder to handle and shoot. But out here with his buddies, he seems pretty calm. And trust me, these are a lot calmer than most cattle you'll see. Um, but as far as confirmation, he's a beast. He looks good. All right, guys, we take a look at all the bulls. It's time to go on in here, hopefully find ourselves a seat, and let's spend some of my brother's money. Sounds good. Thirty-two, thirty-five, thirty-five, thirty-two, five, 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 thirty
Guys, that's a whole lot of fun spending my brother's money at the cattle auction. He uh, walked out a winner. He's a major award winner. Major. What'd you get? I bought lot 48. Lot 48 was the one that I wanted. I had 10 bulls picked out. Lot 48 was my top pick. Um, and man, I tell you what, when you get in these bull sales, Sam can tell you, and you'll see some of the footage, I'm sure. It's fast paced and you can't you can't determine what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, you may pick out 10 bulls and you can't afford none of them. That's right. So, I had made my mind I was going to hold out for that lot 48 cuz I still had I still had about 20 bulls after him. And if I couldn't get him, then I don't know, you grasp the straws. <laughs> you know, but uh, today it worked out. But yeah, it it's it's a little stressful. I get a little jittery, a little hopped up, and a little touchy feely. Oh yeah. Yeah. But uh Ooh tingly feeling yeah but hey tell us what happened with that first one that lot one what went down with that because you mentioned it to me and it blew my mind i did not know what was happening lot one what happened on that was you gotta you gotta really listen when you're in these registered auctions lot one sold for half interest half interest means you own 50 percent of that bull and this farm retains the other 50 percent of that bull so they paid 30 was it 30 something thousand it's 32 something thousand dollars yeah and they only bought half that bull Wow. What they use them things for, you know, bulls like that, uh, they collect semen on them. And they sell that, that straw semen for thirty, forty, fifty dollars a straw. So those bulls, you know, they're gonna they're gonna come out and you know produce a lot of money. But yeah, that was half interest. True. That ain't much of my game, but his money. Guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you like this kind of content. Thank you for joining us here at Burns Farms out here in Pikeville, Tennessee for their November bull and cattle sale. I didn't buy no bull or nothing, but since my brother did, I got myself a free hat. I opted for the beanie because winter's coming and I need to keep my head cool. All right, guys, we're going to hit the road. Appreciate you watching. As always, see ya. We got ourselves a problem. Big problem. Where are we going to put this bull? I can't find a gooseneck hitch on it. Can't do it, guys. Ain't got it. Won't hook. We probably fit it inside. Nope. You got a big boy. Fat. What are you doing? I'm going to get delivery on that bull. I spent enough money, they're going to bring them to me. Maybe they'll bring me some Oreo cookies, too. There you go. Free delivery. See you guys. Remember, hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Smash all the buttons you can find, except for that unsubscribe. Smash them. And don't forget to check out my brother's channel, The Southern Cowman, on YouTube. Bye.